This is day one of phase three with the garage build series. And this is the roof, the siding, the trim. The windows came in and we can install those. Uh, so these shingles do match the existing house. We want it all to blend. So this is called GAF HDZ weathered wood shingles. It's got a nice blackish tone, neutral tans. It's just a nice looking shingle. Matches the red wheel, wheel well. It matches the red real well. Say that five times, but uh, all right, let's jump into it. The next thing we are doing on this before you can put the siding on the garage is the windows and doors have to get installed so the siding butts up to it. So that is what we're gonna do now. So they do come nice and packaged. So installing a window, we got the windows unboxed. We are going to install the first window. I like to cut this back some and that gives you a little bit more space for your Forta Flash to adhere to the two by six because if you stick a sticker just to this, it doesn't really do its purpose by sticking to the wood. You wanna bring this stuff around like so, wrap it up, as long as it comes up the side, a couple inches. Before putting the window in, you wanna take some exterior silicone and put around the rim of this window because this is a new construction window so it does have a fin on the spot where you nail. That side's gotta go up some. We almost were totally prepared. We were like, let's get everything out here so when we make this video, we don't have to do any running back and forth. Guess what we ended up doing? But with it being... <laughs> Put the tape on the outside. Tape delivery. Oh, here it is. Uh, so this goes on the outside of the window like this. It really seals the window to the house, comes down, overlaps this part that we cut on the angle, ensuring there's no water damage. What does that look like? Good? So this is the part we haven't been looking forward to is cutting the concrete out for this door. There's no fun parts about it. Since the deck design did change, we are no longer taking the deck from the house to the garage. We had to lower it to be at the same height as the paver patio. I can't believe that Ray just willingly picked up the saw without even asking him. So there is something. <laughs> Get as much as you can, beat it out, and then grind the next grinder switch. Get as much as you can, do you beat it out or off? Many pearl either or grinders. Personal it. preference. Out, beat off, or it in? In, out, or off? I mean, out's normally better, but beat out? off is pretty good too. Many pearl. <laughs> Since cutting through the concrete did not go all the way through, hitting it with a sledgehammer was not easy, so we decided to cut a relief cut, and right after that, the concrete. This door height was figured off of the top of the concrete foundation, but since we cut the foundation down, we also had to go ahead and lower the door towards the correct height to accommodate for the door that's ordered. So you can buy this stuff from Home Depot or Lowe's, but the good part of buying it from a locally sourced sawmill like this is it comes tongue and grooved with this little V-groove. So when it's up, it's not just flat boards getting nailed together because when you expand and contract with the weather, this stuff hides that, really gives it a nice little finish. So it's good to buy local too, right? Always gotta buy local. He, he thinks it's good to buy local too, right? That's right. Support local. Support local. And bees, big bee guy. Yeah. I have honey, I got lumber, hay, straw, anything you need. He's got it all. It looks like something's tweaking on your side. That would be me. <laughs>
Good. Good. So since this is knotty pine, you do have spots like this that have holes, but right now you can see up through that. And to fix it, I took some scrap pieces of wood, painted it black, and I'll stick it over top. So then it just looks like it's closed off. So now that we got to this point, we have to figure out exactly how we're going to turn the ceiling. And the way that this thing got framed, it's a little hokey to be honest. So we have to cut this back so this continues over. So we find the exact corner to match the exact corner over there. So then we can put our strip across and it'll be a perfect 45. Now you can see exactly where the corner is supposed to be before it was out here. Now it's centered of this center micro lamb. Same as over there. All right. So to find the exact angle that we need, since it's not a true 45, if you take a scrap piece of board, stick it up where the mark is on that side, and then make a mark on this side, you can then go from point to point, and that will give you the exact angle, and then you use this board as a pattern for the rest of the cuts across the way. While we're in there making the actual piece, Ray is making a template to wrap around the beam. I say, Ray, you did a good job. Aww. So a quick way to figure out the angle of the dangle is hold your piece up, stick another piece and trace that, which will then mirror the angle. And then once you cut it, it should work. Hopefully. Now you can see when snapping this piece up, it's all flush with the same bevel. I'll take the camera, same bevel to match each board. Now that this side is complete and we have the transition up to continue the pattern and make all of the seams line up, we have to first go to our full piece, measure back to the house, make sure everything's square and then work back from there. To work backwards, we are adding a spline in the female end of the wood so we can turn the boards and work this way.
Look at that. I think we're done. I think we're done. See, actually, they didn't even see the lights the last time. The electrician came and put all the lights up. I think they look good. I didn't even see them. Yeah, they look pretty good. Nope. So this is actually gonna wrap up this video. You can tell that the pine ceiling is done. I think it's a good stopping point. Next, we have the siding, the stone, wrap these beams and columns. We're pretty much wrapped up this job. So we got one more video. I know you wanna see the final product, so make sure you like, subscribe, stay hard. Catch you on the next one.